Do you ever wonder why, after payday, it feels like your money just evaporates, leaving you counting days until the next one? Believe it or not, 78% of Americans are caught in this cycle, just like you. But what if there's a hidden playbook to break free? Today, we're unveiling the secrets to not just surviving, but thriving between paychecks. Secrets that could transform your financial life. Stick around, because you won't want to miss the insider tips we're about to share. This isn't just about saving money, it's about unlocking a level of financial freedom you thought was out of reach. But where do you start? Understanding the flow of your money starts with careful observation. By tracking every penny for a month, yes, from that morning coffee, to your streaming service subscriptions, you'll uncover the truth about your spending habits. This isn't about cutting corners, but about smarter choices that empower you. Imagine finding extra money for savings or investing without sacrificing your lifestyle. The struggle is real. Many folks avoid looking at their finances because it can be stressful. This is called the ostrich effect, where people bury their heads in the sand instead of dealing with uncomfortable situations. But guess what? We're not ostriches. Today, we're taking control by facing reality. To make this first step easier, consider using budgeting apps like Mint or YNAB, you need a budget, which can help you automatically track your spending and see where your money is going in real time. Think of a budget as your roadmap to financial success. The first step is tracking your spending for a month. Every coffee, every dinner, every bill, write it down. This will show you exactly where your money goes. Now, let's categorize your expenses. Rent, food, transportation, utilities. These are essential. Ideally, these expenses should take up less than 60% of your income. If they do, don't worry. We'll brainstorm clever ways to cut back later. To effectively categorize your expenses, divide them into needs, essentials like rent and groceries, and wants, non-essentials like dining out. A dynamic budget will allow for adjustments as your financial situation changes, ensuring resilience against unforeseen expenses. Let's break down those needs and wants further. With your expenses laid out, take a moment to scrutinize your needs list. Could generic brands save you money on groceries without compromising on quality? For your wants, consider allocating a fun budget. This approach allows enjoyment without overspending, striking a balance between saving and living well. Life throws curveballs. An emergency fund protects you from unexpected car repairs or medical bills. The goal? To save three to six months worth of essential expenses. Begin by setting a smaller initial goal, such as saving $1,000 to make the task seem less daunting. This approach builds momentum, making it easier to expand your savings to cover three to six months worth of expenses. This way, a flat tire won't derail your financial progress. Setting up automatic transfers can help you reach your goal faster. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar you don't have to borrow at high interest rates. When it comes to choosing where to keep your emergency fund, it's essential to balance accessibility with growth. Traditional savings accounts offer safety and easy access, but their interest rates are usually low. High yield savings accounts, on the other hand, provide higher interest rates, helping your fund grow faster while still keeping your money accessible. Money market accounts are another option, offering competitive interest rates and, in some cases, check writing privileges and debit cards for easier access. Each option has its benefits, so consider what's most important for your financial security and accessibility needs. Debt can feel like a monster under your bed, keeping you from financial freedom. High interest debt, especially, is a real drain. That's why we need a plan to slay this beast. Let's focus on paying off those credit cards with sky-high interest rates first. The sooner you get rid of them, the more money you'll save in the long run. There are two popular methods, the snowball method and the avalanche method. The snowball method involves paying off your smallest debts first, giving you a quick win to stay motivated. The avalanche method tackles the debt with the highest interest rate first, saving you the most money overall. Research both and choose the one that fits you best. For example, with the snowball method, if you have three debts, $1,000, $2,000, and $4,500,
start by paying off the $1,000 debt first. Under the avalanche method, if those debts have interest rates of 2%, 10%, and 20% respectively, focus on the $4,500 debt first, since it has the highest rate. Before diving into the benefits of employer contributions, let's set the stage with clear financial goals. Whether it's saving for a dream vacation, a down payment on a home, or your child's education, planning is key. By assigning roles to each dollar you save, you'll see how even small contributions can lead toward achieving your dreams, step by step. Here's a financial secret. Free money exists. Many employers offer matching contributions for retirement savings plans. Remember ROI, or return on investment? This is essentially free money your employer gives you based on your contributions. Let's say you contribute 5% of your income, your employer might match that 5%. Don't miss out on this amazing benefit. Talk to your HR department and start reaping the rewards. Ensure you understand the nuances of your retirement plan options, such as the difference between traditional 401k plans, which offer tax-deferred growth, and Roth IRAs, which provide tax-free withdrawals in retirement. Beyond retirement savings, your employer may offer other perks that can enhance your financial well-being. From health savings accounts, HSAs, that cover medical expenses to flexible spending accounts, FSAs, for dependent care costs, and even tuition reimbursement programs, these benefits are like hidden treasures in your compensation package. Unlocking them can significantly boost your financial health. Let's talk about increasing your income. Maybe it's time to ask for a raise, explore a side hustle, or take some courses to upskill yourself. The more you earn, the more you can save and invest. Speaking of investing, there are options beyond tax-free accounts. Stocks, bonds, and mutual funds all play a role in building long-term wealth. Remember, research is key. Choose investments that align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Increasing your income opens up new avenues for investing. With more financial resources at your disposal, it's crucial to consider how to best allocate your investments to ensure a balanced and resilient portfolio. This is where diversification becomes essential. By spreading your investments across various asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate, you can reduce the impact of volatility on your overall portfolio. Diversification is about creating a safety net, ensuring that a downturn in one asset class doesn't spell disaster for your entire investment strategy. Aligning your portfolio with your risk tolerance and long-term objectives ensures that your investment approach remains congruent with your financial goals and comfort level. If your current job's salary growth is plateauing, it might be time to consider broader horizons. Could a career shift or learning new, in-demand skills open doors to higher income? Additionally, let's not forget about passive income streams. From rental properties to dividend stocks, passive income can provide financial cushioning without the constant active effort. Steering clear of financial pitfalls is as crucial as earning and saving. Overlooking the value of insurance, ignoring the impact of your credit score, or mishandling tax planning can undo your hard work. We'll touch on how to sidestep these common financial missteps, ensuring your journey toward financial freedom is smooth and steady. Financial freedom is a journey, not a destination. By following these steps, building a budget, establishing an emergency fund, tackling debt, utilizing employer matching, and exploring ways to increase income and invest. You're taking control of your finances and building a secure future. Remember, subscribe for more financial tips to keep you on the path to success.